Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to make connection with the MySQL server. So just give the project name uh, MySQL project. So just create it and web application with the model view controller. And this is the thing you can uh, do with PHP my admin. So just open PHP my admin XAMPP controller and uh, start it both are started just open my sql uh, and uh, just open it and uh, first of all create a data context class so add a new folder name that is data and in this the data name we have add a new class that is application db context add db context and in which we can pass that thing like that so application db context and that class will inherit with that db context class so db context class is actually you uh, exist in uh, nuget package that is so just open it uh, entity framework core package uh, in into your project microsoft entity framework core okay so just add it and uh, I accept it that package and in the DB context file just resolve the issues entity framework core and here we have a class so just add a new class uh, in the project and we have already a class uh, that is in the MySQL uh, know that a DB is the WordPress database we have these are the WordPress databases so there is no need I think uh, if we add it just uh, use it and okay now first of all create a new database in the MySQ, MySQL so uh, first of all create a new model class that is student uh, model add a new item class and that is student okay and uh, in the student we have to add prop id and uh, prop strong uh, string name okay so uh, there is that two uh, thing we we can add uh, in the in which we here we add student student and there is students okay there is a table name model and uh, in which we here on configuring uh, overridden method in which we can pass option builder class mysql is not there so add a mysql uh, package inside it here so add new get package again and use mysql uh, you can use mysql dot data and as well as my uh, pomelo dot entity framework core dot mysql that is fine so install it add it yeah install it successfully so just login factory is not there so just add it use microsoft extension dot logins yeah everything is clear so the database name is db not a db that is student db uh, student db the name of the database is student db username is root root and the port is there and local host information so everything is fine i think so after that you just uh, go to that section add migration and the migration name is init oops because the tools package is not installed in uh, in the uh, library so just add it tools just microsoft entity framework core dot tools just add it okay that's fine now after that you can go again and uh, create it build it started uh, entity framework dot validation is not there uh, so that is not an issue database 
yeah will succeed and your table is created student now just to check there is yeah uh, student db is there in which you can add a student entry so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core thank you very much for watching uh, remember again only that create a db connection uh, application db context class here we have okay so thank you guys for watching this video